Hi, I'm Dr. Todd Lazon, and today I'm speaking to you about anti-aging and skin health, and specifically how light therapy, which is also known as photobiomodulation, can help. Now, light therapy, this photobiomodulation, is becoming a lot more popular. It's becoming a bit of a buzzword out there on the internet and on the street. The question is, does it really work? And the quick answer is yes, it does. I have a textbook here called Low Level Light Therapy Photobiomodulation. And in this chapter here, you can see it's on dermatology and aesthetic medicine applications. It talks extensively about how it can help the skin. Granted, in full disclosure, more research probably needs to be done. However, with that being said, it's already being used in multiple spas and beauty salons across most countries. And heads up, a little bit of a, a spoiler here, I'm going to show you how you can do this at home for a fraction of the cost and be able to do it on an ongoing basis for healthy wonderful looking skin over a long period of time. So going back to the question of does it actually work, very briefly here, and you'll be able to look this up for yourself if you wish to, it talks about skin rejuvenation. Specifically, it increases collagen production and as a result, decreases skin wrinkles. And that's probably the most common reason that people would use it cosmetically, is to increase the collagen and decrease the skin wrinkles. There are other uses though that really benefit the skin. And if I just flip through, you'll start to be able to see them through here. Acne is another one. It talks about potentially up to 90% of adolescents having acne and red and near infrared light therapy, along with potentially blue light, all help acne significantly. Other aspects of the skin that can benefit are herpes virus infections. If people get herpes infections, it helps with the inflammation and speeds up the recovery. There are things like vitiligo that can be improved upon. Burns, such as sunburn, can be dramatically decreased as far as the healing and the recovery time. Other aspects that are probably a little bit more applicable are things like psoriasis and eczema. If someone has psoriasis or eczema, this low level light therapy or photobiomodulation, light therapy, call it whatever you will, can dramatically at times help people quite significantly. And we've had some wonderful case studies regarding that. Other things include, believe it or not, hair loss. It's FDA approved in the United States, some devices for actually re re repairing, or repairing is not the right word, but for increasing hair growth and helping with hair loss. The other aspects that I wanted to mention are a little bit later in this chapter through here, and specifically, it's for fat reduction and cellulite treatment. That's another huge cosmetic area, is cellulite and fat reduction, and they don't have all the specific mechanisms sort of sorted out as to how it works, but they do know what improves it. The trick is, with cellulite, and it says it in here, is that it needs to be generally used on an ongoing basis or the cellulite tends to return. So does it work? Absolutely. I've got, just in this chapter through here, you can see here references starting at number one, and we've got page after page after page of references in medical journals that illustrate how photobiomodulation helps with skin health. We've got 165 references that people can look at for themselves if you're not sure. My point is, it works. So briefly, how does it work? Primarily, it works by increasing what's called ATP. ATP, you need to think of that as being like a rechargeable battery. This is what gives you your cells, it gives you your energy. And when you've got a fully recharged battery, you can do all kinds of things from a repair and a healing perspective. But if that battery starts to deplete, you need to recharge it. And that's where the infrared light and the red light actually work, is by recharging the batteries far faster than if that light's not present. Other mechanisms in which it works is it actually decreases inflammation, and that's huge for skin health for a lot of people, considering free radical damage and decreasing the inflammation from that. And the final mechanism, just, this is just briefly, 
is it increases nitric oxide production, which increases blood flow. So you get more nutrients and you flush out more metabolite. Now, a very quick story on how it works to get you understanding this a little bit more. If we look at what nature has intended for humans, we're meant to be outside in sunlight. Now, we're talking about skin health, and we all know that one of the major damaging functions or one of the major damaging aspects of skin health is from ultraviolet or UV light. This light therapy is not UV light. It's actually the opposite. And there was a study from a number of years ago that showed that if you apply infrared light to skin, what ends up happening is what's called preconditioning. So if you apply this infrared light to the skin before you go out into the sun in the middle of the day, it works equivalent to an SPF 15 sunscreen that protects against ultraviolet. Think about the implications. What this means is that most of us get ultraviolet damage because we don't go out in the early morning hours to get exposed to the red and the near infrared light that provide the protection against ultraviolet. That's why this therapy is so valuable because we're simply bringing back what nature intends, exposing ourselves to appropriate levels of red and near infrared light and then reaping all the benefits of it without any of the UV exposure and actually potentially protecting against UV exposure, which again provides even more benefits for the skin. So this is the bit that the beauty industry might not like you to be hearing about. This sort of therapy can now be done at home relatively inexpensively. You'll see on the screen here we've got a few options on how it can be done. There can be handheld devices like you see here. They're very inexpensive. They're usually only about $150. They're easy to use. You can take them with you when you're on holidays or when you're away for work or whatever it is. Very simple, but they cover a small area. Then you can increase the size to these larger panels, which are wonderful because they cover a much larger area, reducing the treatment time. And then a final option that is good for a lot of people are what's called the near-infrared saunas, where you expose your full body to the red and the near-infrared light at lower doses, but you also get the benefit of the heat and the relaxation, relaxation and the sauna therapy. So there's multiple ways that you can do it, and what you need to figure out is the best way that works for you from a budget and a practicality perspective. But the point is, you no longer need to go to the beauty salons and spend what will end up being thousands of dollars to work on your skin and then need to go on an ongoing basis. You can now do this at home simply and inexpensively. But you need to know what you're doing. You have to understand how it works and how to apply it. And that's why we've developed our simple dosing guide to how to use this light. See, it exists with what's called a Goldilocks dose. If you use too little, no effect. If you use too much, no effect. You have to get it just right. And skin responds to, believe it or not, lower doses than some of the other uses that we can use for photobiomodulation. So we need to keep it, and this is technical, but typically between 3 to 15 joules per square centimeter. And our simple dosing, dosing guide takes all the calculation away. All you need to do is look up what you want to treat, how far away the light's going to be, and this tells you the time to apply it. Very simple to do, but very important to understand if you're going to have success with photobiomodulation. Now, I know this video is about skin and anti-aging, but the thing is this. You may decide that that's your motivating factor as far as why you get into photobiomodulation, but the benefits go way beyond that. This is a list of what photobiomodulation can actually benefit. And what it's primarily used for outside of skin is inflammatory issues, arthritis, rheumatism, tendonitis, all those sorts of things from neck problems to back problems. It reduces pain, it reduces inflammation, and can speed up the healing significantly. It's also used for things like fibromyalgia, Potentially, it's being used with new things such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, stroke rehab, and concussion protocols. That's a big industry. And athletic performance, because if we increase that battery, that rechargeable battery, if we have more energy, you can actually increase performance. And when you use it after a workout, it decreases recovery time. So it's really having significant impacts in the health and fitness industry. So 
while you use it, primarily you may decide to use it for your skin and anti-aging, you're actually going to get far more benefits because you're essentially bringing back what nature intended, which is this exposure to the red and the near-infrared light and restoring balance or modulating things back to the norm. So there you have it. I tried to keep this video short. Perhaps it ran a little bit long. If you're interested in learning more about where you can purchase these sorts of devices or if you just want to learn more about photobiomodulation in general, visit our website at lightintegration.com.au where you can purchase these different products, even the near-infrared sauna, and primarily you can just go and learn as much as you want about photobiomodulation. But light therapy works for skin and anti-aging. Until next time, keep well.